<laughs> right? Or like, um, what is it that Cricket used to do all the time where it's like boobs right in the genitals and you're just like bouncing? And oh, well, it, women, it's like one. hit or miss on whether or not that's going to feel good. But men no. are immediately like, oh, this is a boob job. I'm loving it. Like yeah, you don't even have yeah. to have boobs and they're like, exactly. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think for the boobs and, and the vagina, I would do more of a swirl. Yeah. Like a circular swirl, but not in the center. It would just be either the right or the left, or maybe I would like switch it off and do one Switching and then do the other. Nice. Yeah. So there's like the nipple, like the roundness of the boob gets right up on the clit part. Yeah. Ooh. And then you gently massage. Nice. I'm going to use that. If yeah. That's and cool. then, of course, with women, you do boob on boob. Too. Yeah. Boob on boob. Is okay. Great. So that's- are you teaching that in your workshops? Oh my God. Amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, because, I mean, I feel like a lot of people who come to strip clubs are looking for a form of Im- intimacy right. that we can provide. Yeah. And also, like, we're hot, so totally. welcome for us existing. So hot. Uh, yeah. But they're looking <laughs> for that type of intimacy, which transfers pretty easily, in in my opinion, to, like, a personal relationship. Mm-hmm. Uh, if, like, I'm your partner and we're fucking as, like, a monogamous relationship, I'm going to do some more shit. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> <laughs> But I would expect somebody who's already had sex with you Mm. to, like, be comfortable in their own skin enough to be like, yeah, I'm going to put my face in your crotch and, like, get up in your business. And, like, that shouldn't be such a weird experience. But I find primarily that strippers don't give a shit. They're like, yeah, this is my body and the human body and sex is a, a part of the human experience. So why should we be ashamed of that? Whereas pole dancers and other women who are trying to just learn to be sexy, usually for their partner, it's very um, intimidating and very like uh, nerve wracking because they don't know what to do. Like, what if they have come? Like, what if they have questions? What if they're talking to me? Like, so I kind of go through all of that. Really, that comes up. Like, yeah. they get nervous being sensual and erotic for their already existing partner. Yes. Okay. Like, and people that they've been married for for years kind of thing. Weird. Yeah, I think so, too. I just, and not weird in a bad way. I'm just, like, I can't. No, just interesting, like, yeah. Okay, so this last dude that I was, like, seeing for, like, two seconds, I was, like, you know, I just did not give a fuck. And I was, like, mm, you like that? Like, do you like it when I do that, Daddy? Like, mm. <laughs> And he being called me a pro, like, a different day. He was, like, you're basically, like, professional. Because it's Stuff. fun. <laughs> You know, it was fun being in, like that, and I didn't, you know, and I just, and I think maybe because I haven't been on stage for a while, and I yeah. haven't been able to flex that muscle, I was like... It makes a difference. Yeah, and so for me, that's, like, kind of normal yeah. to be Agreed. that way. Well, so, you're one of the people that I'm like, if you want to learn how to give good porn face, you uh, need to yeah. go to this person's profile. I don't know how she does it. She just looks like she's having sex all the, all time, the time, just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I try to like replicate. I'm like, it looks like this, oh, but it looks uh, so dumb when I do I, it because I don't have your facial features. You don't need the facial features, but like that, like that intensity with like the ice blue eyes that that stare into your stole, but like then the mouth that's just like, oh, I'm gonna take your dick so deep. Like yeah. it's just, it's well, good. It comes <laughs> from honestly years of practicing. I started practicing when I was like 15. Like I'm not. Mm-hmm. I was like I would sit in front of the mirror and make faces. And so then I, that's, I teach people now how to make yes. porn face. Yes. It's, it's a thing. We need it. <laughs> yeah. It's honestly, it's very uncomfortable for them. But towards the end, they start to get it because I make them do really ridiculous stuff at first to like yeah. get over, to like get, like the, just stop giving a fuck yes, about what you look like. The shame. Stop being sh- ashamed. Yeah. It's really, it's really deep in our society. Yeah. Whore phobia mm-hmm. is massive. And yep. I used to suffer from horophobia. I feel like every did person did. Did you used did. to yes. suffer from horophobia? Until I started stripping, yeah. Okay. Literally, okay. I walked in and was like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I just want to pole dance. And then by the end of the night, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. How do we get the world over horophobia? Um, My personal opinion, like what I personally do is I start Facebook fights with people. And you start Facebook fights. <laughs> Not legitimate Facebook do. fights. But, yeah. like, I'll post something that's very, like, pro-stripper, pro-sex worker, or just pro, uh, like, the shameless woman. And I'll always get that one person who's, like, like with the Hustlers halftime show thing with J-Lo and everything. And, like, oh, yeah. Oh, I had one woman that I only have on my Facebook because she's, like, a family friend that I can't. There's, like, weird politics on that side with the people where I grew up. Mm -hmm. Um, So I can't delete her. 
Yeah. <laughs> or I would. Damn it. Um, but she said something like, well, I have white Christian values. So, oh, yeah. It got, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I have white Christian values, what? so maybe I just think better of myself oh. than that, but I found it completely, thank you, person in the other room also shaking your head. It was deplorable. <laughs> I was enraged. What's the difference between white Christian values per- versus like- Any other race? Any other race. Oh, In wow. America, a lot. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Oh, yep. Hey. So you basically, like, I've learned really quickly how to use people's own arguments against them. Sure. Uh, and honestly, I've gotten some positive feedback because when you start to use someone's, uh, if they're open to change and you use their own words and their own argument to prove your point, that's when they the light bulb kind of tends to go on. So you start mirroring them. Yes, Name exactly. Name repetition. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Basically, you're like, oh, you're sitting cross-legged. I'll sit cross-legged. And isn't this super comfortable and not just for men? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, for those of you who couldn't see, she just did the knee spread position. Similar to men on subways. Exactly. Which there's now a law against doing man spreading. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Yeah, you'll get a fine for man spreading on the the subway. That happened like a few years ago they That's started so Go New doing that yeah okay so we totally got off topic <laughs> sorry <laughs> we're supposed to talk about your traveling oh we, we yes. need everyone to know so i tour internationally where you've been i've been to 33 countries wow. in my life how many continents um most everywhere except africa okay yeah okay and so, technically so you haven't Arab- been to antarctica haven't been to antarctica or Art, the Arctic North, whatever that one is. I don't think that counts. Doesn't it count? No, is I it don't not? think so. Is it because it's attached to Russia? Yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think it's considered that. I don't think that there's a separate continent up in, t- in both up top and North bottom. North Pole and South Pole? No. Just no. the South Pole. Everyone likes going down. No one right. likes to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Um, um, how often are you on the road? Because, like, you're never here. I'm, I'm never here. No. I'm here for, like, 24 hours at a time. Yeah. Um, so just in starting in January, I was in Brazil for, like, 10 days. I came home for three then I went to uh, Hawaii for four days, came home for 24 to 48 hours, was mm-hmm. in Canada, came back, went to Costa Rica, came back. I go to Vegas this weekend, and then I come back, and then I head to Bali and go on, like, my first wow. big international tour. Mm-hmm. Um, so then in March and April, I'll be in Australia and New That's Zealand. great. I'm really excited about it, yeah. yeah. I barely break even, but it's worth it because yeah, I get but to travel. You're, you're rich in experiences and, mm-hmm. and knowledge and, like, seeing the planet. Yes, one. You know, what's been your most favorite thing that you've seen, like city or situation or experience? Um, People wise, I think Brazil just I just went to Brazil for the first time and the people there were so open and so honest with their emotions. And Mm. I was there for pole theater Brazil and I was judging and it was the only time I think I've ever cried so hard for pole dancing and for something that's been on stage. And the uh, just the raw honesty that was put forth along with the extreme technical skill that I was mm. not prepared for. Right. Especially for like an amateur and semi pro competition. They just like blew me out of the water. Right on. But they were open to talking about like LGBTQ oh, yeah. rights and they talked yeah. about like the Amazon rainforest in a really beautiful way. And then like wow. uh the economy and then quite a few stripper routines, dealing with social media. Like they were very wow. on top of for all the categories. So not even just in like drama which is primarily focused on like storytelling capabilities with mm-hmm. movement they were like the exotic category the drama category the artistic one that's based more on different styles of movement where like they all had this incredible theme and story that went with them mm-hmm. which would make sense for the competition but is very rarely seen in my personal opinion it's like usually just like one or two that stand out and this entire country stood out and then everybody in the audience too was like no matter who went on stage the whole audience was there for them yeah which is also something that in america i don't experience very often uh 
it's usually very much a studio versus studio situation. And like, if you have friends, you'll cheer for your friends, but you're not going to just <coughs> cheer for like another competing studio. Whereas in Brazil, everybody was just happy. That's so nice. Yeah, it was incredible. And then New Zealand is my favorite country in terms of like nature. And then Paris is probably my favorite for architecture. I heard that the men in New Zealand don't use umbrellas because it's not considered manly. I don't know about that, but I will ask when I'm there. In I March. need confirmation. <laughs> if anybody knows this weird fact, please email us at yes stripper podcast at gmail dot com. <laughs> Do Kiwis use umbrellas? Exactly. <laughs> Kiwi men specifically. Well, but is it Kiwis or is it Maori? Because Maori's their native culture. I think Kiwi is slightly offensive. Is, is it? it offensive? I don't think so, no. Or Ki- isn't it? It's I feel like the Australians it's... call them Kiwis. No, they call themselves Kiwis. They do call them. I think Kiwi is cute. It's super cute. Yeah. Because what else okay, are they? So it's not offensive. Not that well, I don't New know Zealanders. People, like Kiwi is a fruit. <laughs> How did he even get to the word Kiwi? Because it's a bird first. And it's a, the, nat- the natural oh. bird. Like it's the country bird. It's like this little egg with a beak that's black and it just kind of runs around. It's... Like a hummingbird? Kind of, but without, <laughs> with like no wing capability, it just kind of runs. It's like oh. a roadrunner, but like tiny. I'll send you a photo of it. So it's a mix between a roadrunner and, and a hummingbird. hummingbird. Okay. <laughs> sure. Thank you. I need labels. Okay. That's how I get through life. But it's egg sized. So it's super. Oh, yeah. it's so cute. It's so cute. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or okay. egg shaped. Yeah. So kiwi is not offensive. No, All I don't right. think Well, I'm so. glad that we figured that out. Um, I'm you- not a kiwi, so I don't. To well, make any no. responsibility if you are offended by You're, that. Yeah. <laughs> this is from my either. own personal experience. I'm not responsible. <laughs> did you meet Julia from Wegon in Brazil? No. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, she's, we interviewed. Yes. We she's did an so I got really lovely. emotional. <laughs> we haven't met in person yet. So oh, Julia, so for those of you who don't know, is um, the director of a pole dance media company that is in Spanish and Portuguese. And so we have collaborated over the years through United Pole Artists, my company that mm-hmm. I am the director of, and then with Wegon. And so we have been on WhatsApp and we have phone conferences with each other for the last like two or three years now. And we haven't ever met each other. Oh, she's wonderful. I know. Her energy is just very like I know. brightening. She's amazing. Um, okay, well, yeah, so talk to me about, because you in the Venn diagram are, you know, you're kind of right in the middle Mm -hmm. where you support sex workers. Technically, if you identify as a stripper, you're technically a sex worker. Yep. And you're also a pole dancer. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel or deal with the... All the things. One is mm, uh, pole dancing derives from Indian and Chinese men from the 15th century. Um, uh, stripping is gross, like that kind of shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. How do you deal? How do you? What are your? What do you do? How do you deal? 